Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to deliver the interview question and answers part 10. This question holds a significant role on the interview perspective. Most of the techies has been rejected as well as selected because of answering or not answering this question. It's really a important concept that you have to learn not only in terms of uh, interview also you have to understand this concept and you have to imply this in your work environment so the question is what happens when two can nodes are sending a same identifier at the same time in a network two nodes are not allowed to send messages with same id if it happens forcefully to send messages with the same id at the same time then one of the significant property in can protocol that is the arbitration will not work instead one of the transmitting nodes will detect that his own message is distorted outside the arbitration field can protocol uses the error handling technique this will lead to one of the transmitting node being switched off so this is the overall uh, you know the explanation for this uh, question so this answer is a straight away answer but still we have to understand how it really works in terms of arbitration so if you really answer this if you give this answer again you will get the another question with what is arbitration how it works and again what is error handling technique in the can protocol so that you can drag these two questions for your next question so here whatever the text have been given will have the quick explanation with the arbitration process so it will it will really helpful to understand still better so let's see here we have three nodes a b c so these three nodes if you see this uh, three nodes here the node a and node b has transmitting the same id right so with the same message so but c is uh, giving the different id that we can you can see in the upcoming slides so that's what if it happens forcefully to send so we are we are we are making it forcefully to send so what will happen let's see so here till here also zero 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 so the arbitration is keep on passing one 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 and let's see here this is coming to zero this can uh, there is node a has comes to zero node b has comes to zero that is it is transmitting the id with this one one zero zero one 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 and here also transmitting the id as one one zero zero one 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 and here the c node has transmitting with the message id one one zero zero one 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 and again one so as you know it is a can protocol works on the and gate so it it makes the zero zero and one so it will make the c node to lose and arbitration as can be win intermittently by a and b so let's have the look on it see a and b are keep on transmitting the with, the with respect to this message id at the end once it comes out of the arbitration field what will happen is the both nodes either a or b or even both as the transmitting nodes will detect that his own messages is distorted outside the arbitration field so once it, it detects that some of these messages has been distorted then it will start to give the bus of error so yes of course you know what is bus of error that we have given in our uh, some other tutorials also so you can have a look on it so this bus of error will makes the distorted messages has been handled in the can protocol error handling technique so this has really give the security and uh, uniqueness of the can protocol which the same message id with the same uh, at the same time can never be transmitted if you transmit what will happen that is the bus off will happen this much beautifully this handles and this really giving the significant to the um, can protocol because there will be most of the chances that uh, many suppliers as uh, doing the messages id as well as the messages so there should always be the pre-check that there should not be any messages with the same id uh, can be transmitted maybe it's the same time or different time but uh, we have to ensure that it should not be the same so this really this can protocol really handles this uh, bus off and uh, giving you the can protocol to stop and broadca broadcast this error so in this way we can get the solution is yes again we can get back here so the answer is 
in a network the two nodes are not allowed to send messages with the same id if it happens also the arbitration will fail once the arbitration fails and it will goes to the error handling technique which throws the bus off error so this is the simple and short answer with a beautiful explanation have been given here so this is one of our uh, part we have given and if you have any queries or you can if you have any you know difficulties that you faced in your interview you can leave the comment here so we'll uh, try to broadcast in our uh, channel so yes we have the daily uploads by uh, the indian standard time at 9 pm in our youtube channel embedded world for 100 days so we request you to utilize your current time you know wisely you don't waste your time because uh, i guess you are getting plenty of time to work and learn so it will definitely work for your career and a stepstone for your success so catch you in another tutorials until then bye